All right, welcome. So in this case, what we need to do is determine uh, the slope and the y-intercept, but we got to put it into slope-intercept form. So to do that, um, I got to make this equation look like this one, because a lot of times what I'll get is students will say, oh, well, that's a negative 3 as a slope, because 3 is in front of the x. No, 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 no. We got to be very, very careful. We got to make sure we write it into this format. So to do that, there's a couple things we're going to do. First of all, you can see we have these parentheses here, which in slope-intercept form, I do not have these parentheses. So I'm going to want to distribute the 6, so therefore I won't have parentheses. So I have negative 2y equals 6 times 5, which is 30. 6 times negative 3 is a negative 18x. All right, so now to solve for the y, I need to now undo dividing by negative 2. So I'll divide by negative 2 on both sides, and I get y equals. Now remember, the negative 2 divides into both those terms. So 30 divided by negative 2 is now a negative 15. And negative 18x divided by negative 2 is now going to be a positive 9x. And again, I'm very close to having a slope-intercept form, but it's not exactly. I'm going to want to swap the terms, so now it's in slope-intercept form. So I have y equals 9x minus 15, where now my slope, which we represent as m, is 9. And my y-intercept, which is b, is negative 15. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the slope and the y-intercept by writing an equation in slope-intercept form. Thanks.